I think what it means to be a data scientist is really kind of new. Um, it's an emerging role in a lot of ways. Uh, mostly it means that businesses have big problems in terms of the data they have and how they want to use that to help their customers, uh, but they need someone who can come in and uh, creatively problem solve around those issues. So they have a whole bunch of data and they want someone to come in and tell them what can we learn from that data and how can we use it effectively. The most important skills, my day to day is a lot of programming, but not, I think, to a level of technical detail that you might get from a, like a serious computer programmer or engineer. I'm more of a prototyping sort of person. I run code experiments. So you, you, you'll need some programming skills to succeed. Um, and really, I think a creative problem solving kind of mindset. I think the thing that surprised me the most starting as a data scientist was uh, how much sort of how much freedom of movement you have um, and how much independence you tend to be given. So you, people tend to give you a project, tell you outcomes, but let you define the solution. You're really walking in as an expert in a lot of ways, as someone who's got a skill set, um, and you have to be, to some degree, the authority on how it's going to get done. So people often come to you with a problem, uh, and it's really your place to take that authority and take that leadership aspect and say, I think it'll go best if I try doing it this way, try that out and present a result. And you know, sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes you pick the wrong thing and that's fine, but you've spent, you spend two weeks, you get a quick prototype out, you show someone and they say this did or didn't work and you go back and you revise. Um, but I, you know, it's, especially the first time you come into that role, it's really intimidating to, to pick up that kind of, that autonomy and that leadership and, and take those decisions. On the hiring side and interviewing candidates, uh, I've looked for some of that communication ability, the quality of the work, really an intellectual curiosity. So, like, what did they, what what did they go and see in that data? What did they decide to go and do? Were they playful with it? Did they find something that's impressed me that I wouldn't have looked for? Um, really looking for that sort of uh, curiosity, creativity, originality with the data. If someone came to me and said that they wanted to be a data scientist. First I would ask like where they are currently in their life. So if they're sort of at a high school graduation level, I'd definitely recommend a university degree. Probably one in a sort of STEM field. Definitely try and pick up some um, linear algebra, some mathematics. Um, but which, so which degree you specifically get tends to matter less, or at least it does right now. So if you get a, f I got a physics degree. I've met people who've gone into data science with chemi chemistry degrees, with computer science degrees, who started off as software engineers and came across. They're, the degree itself is less important than some foundational mathematical skills, some programming skills, and then some demonstration of this curiosity. Um, I definitely recommend you check out some online data science challenges. There are lots of websites these days where you can go and get a, a free of data set and they've got a challenge for you that you can try and do. There's leaderboards on those and you'll never look good on those leaderboards and don't worry about that so much, but get out, try to do some of those tasks, see if you like the work. Um, and you know, use those as a way of refining that toolkit.